Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Once again, I will leave a link to the boy Ozaru's channel in the d d description. That you can go straight to the video if that's what you would rather do. Fair enough. I don't blame you. But for now, let's just get right into it. Super Saiyan 4. What do I think of Super Saiyan 4? Well, in terms of in this game, I've not seen it yet. So we'll take a look at it now. So far, I like it. Super Saiyan 4 in general, prior to Dragon Ball Super, was genuinely my favourite transformation. I mean, to be fair, what's the competition? Kaioken, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, all of those are cool, especially OG Super Saiyan. But out of all of the transformations prior to Super, Super Saiyan 4 was definitely my favourite, I would say. Quite easily, to be fair. And even now, it's still one of my favourites. It's just really cool. And if Broly gets Super Saiyan 4, like in the canon, uh, that would be, be pretty sick. So th this is the 10 times Kamehameha. We love to see it. One thing that I'm curious to see... Wait. Is he about to transform mid-battle into Kid Goku? Because I don't see why you would want to do that. Because transforming mid-battle is about the hype. Why would you transform downwards? That doesn't make sense to me. So I'm assuming he's going to change character. Like he's not going to transform out of Super Saiyan 4. Because I don't see why you would do that. If that made any sense whatsoever. But can he do the instant... Oh, he can do the instant transmission. So does that make you appear behind the enemy? Because it says it there. Instant transmission is gone now. But there was instant transmission there. Um, I want to see that be used. If he's already used it, I missed it. So hopefully... We can see it be used because I want to see how that works. Because if that works in a way where you appear directly behind your enemy, like it, that in games like this, I always liked. Like for example, in Mortal Kombat, I like Scorpion because you could do a move where you disappear and appear behind the enemy, just te basically te teleportation. So this is the well, it's not kid Goku, but like it's when Goku appeared like he was a kid. I don't know the same thing that's going on with Daimer. Um, I have heard a few rumors about Daimer. Um, but I don't know if they're true. I won't say them in case they are true, because then it will just be a spoiler. But um, if it is true, it's going to be hype. Uh, although, in terms of, I'm not the most hype for Dragon Ball Dimer. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm just not. I'm going to watch it, and I'll probably enjoy it. But realistically, I would just rather get a continuation of Super or something along those lines, because I don't want to see the, the, the characters... As little chibi things, or whatever you call it, as kids or whatever. I don't want to see that. By the way, Beerus does look cool. That's the Spirit Bomb, very nice. Very, very, very nice. And here's the announcer, fair. Folks, oh, by the way, do you know what? With this game, one thing that I'm looking forward to is the... What do you call it? Um, the... The what-if things. Because I'm curious to see how that will work. Like, with all the what-ifs, because... Um, that definitely does interest me, but I have no idea how that's going to work. Hopefully... Like, they make that a really good. Like, if, if that's a big part of the game, that could be pretty exciting. Um, we'll see what happens, though. I still haven't even pre-ordered the game. I probably will. I probably will, but I still, ha I still haven't pre-ordered it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, what's the moveset as, like, the kid Goku? Is it the same moveset as Super Saiyan 4? No, it won't be. But will he have instant transmission here? By the way, we still looking nice. I will say that. But we're dodging everything, fair enough. Is this like a training ground kind of thing? Is that what he's fighting in here? Because I don't see Whis fighting back. All I see him is dodging. The hopes of everyone in the universe. Um, go back to... Is, is this Super Saiyan now or Super Saiyan 3? What's this? Is this just Super Saiyan? Could be Super Saiyan 2, but I think it's Super Saiyan. What even is the difference between Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2? Like the, the electricity or something like that? I don't actually know. Like Is that Super Saiyan 2? It could be. I don't think it... Is actually it could be, it really could be, um, but I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Um, either way, though, Super Saiyan, because yeah, back back in the day, I did like Super Saiyan three as well. Super Saiyan three was cool, but I think what carried Super Saiyan three was the the fact that Goku became extremely serious in that form, which is what like really carried that form and made it really cool. Um, in the in the OG Dragon Ball Z, um, I did like that to be fair. Um. What do we have here? So he's fighting Goku Black. Yeah, that's a lot. You know, the roster in this game is huge. Like, realistically, the only like big things that are missing are Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo. Like, if those two were in this game... Whew. Whew. 
I mean, they, they will be in the game soon as DLCs. But if they were in the base game, that would have been epic. When did DLCs become big? It's been a long time now, because I remember back in like 2010, with like Block Ops, Call of Duty, like they started doing DLCs, and that's when it became big, I think. Before that, there were no DLCs. You buy a game, you get the game. That makes sense. You buy the game, you get what you paid for, you get the whole game. You don't get half the game for the full price. You, you, you get the full game for the full price. That's the way it used to be. But now, obviously, they found a hack to make even more money, which is just DLC after DLC after DLC. And I don't blame them, to be fair. Or the Dragon Fist, by the way. The Dragon Fist. We do love to see it. The whole point of this video was Super Saiyan 4, but it's a little bit extra on top of the Super Saiyan 4, which I'm not opposed to. I'm not opposed to. Um, so I think it's Super Saiyan 4 now. Okay, we're back into Super Saiyan 4 now. Um, and the video is going to end here. Let me put it on loop so that it can restart. But yeah, I think next I'll either react to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, that's Ultra Instinct Goku. We've got the Jirens and the Hits. we got, there's so much to do. Like, there's so many videos that I need to make. Hmm. I might need to upload more than one video a day to get through all of these before the game comes out. And even if I upload more than one a day, like, I'm not going to get through every character before the game comes out. I mean, we don't, we've got, like, two weeks. I'm going to try and stay consistent for the entirety of these two, three weeks. And then if I get the game, uh, I'm going to keep being consistent in actually playing the game and uploading videos. That's if I get it. Because if I get it, I'm definitely going to make content. Um, that's for damn sure. And if I don't get it, then I won't make the content. It's simple as that. Because then I can't because I don't have the game. We'll see what happens. That looks cool, by the way. Yeah, I, honestly, Super Saiyan 4 is genuinely really cool. And I, I would love to see Super Saiyan 4 a brawly um actually happen in, in in the thingy in in the canon do you know in these what ifs though like is it possible like to give different characters different transformations like for example like what if broly went super saiyan 4 i mean at that point that just is dragon ball heroes to be fair but i mean is there something like specific to this game like, o obviously they won't do this but for, for example like beast broly like you know how like beast go on like, what if that's beast broly or beast uh, Goku or, or Ultra Instinct Gohan. I highly doubt they will do anything like that. In fact, I'm pretty certain they won't do something like that. But if they did, ooh, that would have been dirty. That would have been truly dirty. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the canon, by the way. Um, Goku versus Shenron. That did happen. Yeah, but honestly, with the what ifs, those could be fun. Like, those could be really fun. D depending on how they do that. I think that's going to be a thing where, like, different characters confuse um something that's not canon to the uh what do you call it something that's not canon to the anime but like it, as a what if kind of thing and if that is the case i am down for it i think i saw that somewhere i don't know if it's true if it is true i'm down i'm here for it we'll see what happens as a quick side note by the way the other day in my house this is completely off topic but in my house um this was a few days ago now. A cat just randomly appeared in my house. I was, cause it was in the middle of the night. I went to the bathroom. I came out and I see something run down the stairs. I thought, was that a cat? Like, what the hell was that? So I went down to see and there was nothing there. So I thought I was hallucinating things. So then I went back up and then I hear a scream. And then it, it, it was someone in my house reacting to the cat. Uh, I was, okay, so there is a card then. I thought I thought I was hallucinating. It was in in the middle of the night. That was pretty funny, um, but yeah, that, that 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 was something that happened a few days ago. Um, but yeah, about Super Saiyan Four. Oh, I keep. Wait, did he use instant transmission? Because I'm not paying attention. Wait, he must have used it somewhere here. Surely, here maybe. Go and show me the instant transmission, please. I want to see it. I want to see the way it works. Watch this. No holding back. I don't think that was instant transmission, was it? Either way, if I get the game, I'll see it for myself if I use it and if I get it. Either way, though, let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree that prior to Dragon Ball Super, the most hyped transformation was Super Saiyan 4. Prior to Super, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge, because that is indeed the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment, because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta, adios, and bye-bye.